Alright, so I'm putting this video out to explain um, why Unreal Engine 5 is such a big deal. And uh, I know a lot of people are talking about different things like physics and all this, but really from a developer's point of view, why this is just huge and game changing. And I'm going to try to put it in simple terms as possible. So this is an object I found in Sketchfab, credit to uh, 3D Haupt for creating this. And you'll see that there's five different objects that are all kind of similar. Well, why? Well, let's look at each of these objects. So see, this one right here has a, a, it's a low poly, only 18 triangles. And if we look at just the base color of this model, or let's look at, you know, just, well, well this isn't going to help. If we just look at the base color, you'll see that there's not a lot going on here. It's a lot of planes and uh, very, very low poly. And so this is like kind of what video games would have looked like, you know, back in the day. <laughs> not that it good, not that exciting though. But if we get to uh, to this final render of the high poly one, we're talking 73,000 triangles or poly runs. And now we can see that it's a lot more detailed. It looks so great. This is what we wanted to look like in the video game, right? But when you're far away, that is going to cost. And when we say cost, we don't mean money. We mean processing power a lot. This level one from far away. Because there's no reason it needs to be that big. And that's why we have the level five. Because the further you are away, the less detail you need. Well, uh, there's one other little trick that has been going on here. And that is you can see all these little crevices and things like that. When I move the light, you can see it kind of casts these shadows. Well, that's not actually modeled. As you can see, when I turn off uh, all the other channels, just the color, it's not really there. It's not part of the model. What's being done is something called a normal map. And that can also be done with the height map, uh, something kind of similar. But uh, what we're doing is we're fooling you into thinking that there's those little crevices there by putting these uh, normal maps on here. And that's all this little detail, right? So it's not even being modeled. If that was part of the model, you're talking millions of tries now. So in the final render, we put all this together, and this is what we get. And you can see the way the light hits these crevices and makes these little shadows. So what Unreal Engine 5 is saying it can do and if this is true, this is pretty groundbreaking, is you don't need this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You don't need to make all these different versions of the model. You don't, as far as I can tell, you don't even have to worry about normal maps. You can actually just go ahead and create your model with all those little cracks and stuff already in it. Although I'm sure normal maps and stuff are still going to be used because it does uh, save time and other things. But they're just saying, just create this model, this number one one. And... The amount of time that you spend on dealing with all these other level of details and stuff, don't worry about it. You don't need to worry about optimizing it for the engine. You don't need to keep your poly count under 100,000 for a, a high quality model. Go crazy. Take a million polys if you need it. And um, create one object, stick it in Unreal, and Unreal will actually create in real time lower poly count models as you get further away. It's only going to render what it needs to render at that distance and it's it's uh, gonna ignore the rest so just imagine if you're a developer you now no longer have to worry about optimization you no longer have to worry about all these other different levels of detail you just create your model or you go on sketchfab and download someone else's or you use quixel uh, which has all these real scans of actual objects you throw it in your game you're done you're talking um, just for this one model you know dozens of hours uh, gone in the development process and instead you can just put them in the game and start creating level and make it look beautiful um, and there's there's a lot more to it than that but that alone is pretty groundbreaking and uh, is going to revolutionize the industry if it does turn out to be the case so let's see fingers crossed I am uh, hoping and um, yeah, it's exciting stuff.